Hello everyone, welcome back to On The Fly. Today we're going to be taking a look and recapping the semi-final action from the Women's World Championship happening in Utica, USA. So we'll hop right into today with the scores from today's game, starting off with a 3-2 victory for Switzerland over Germany. Now this was a game highlighted by, once again, the goaltending, right? These two teams, time after time, have been known for their goaltending. Andre Brandley in net for the Swiss, as well as Sandra Abstreiter in net for Germany. And this game did not disappoint with both goalies going toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Unfortunately for the Swiss, uh, Brandley got knocked out about halfway, three quarters of the way through the game, which meant that the backup had to come in and she did stand on her head. So credit to her having to come off cold from the bench. But at the end of the day, Switzerland did pull through M Mueller with the victory, with the game winner, put Switzerland back into Group A. They will remain in Group A for next year. Germany, unfortunately for them, will be stuck in Group B. So that's what you got for that game. 3-2 to two is your final in overtime. And now let's talk about these semi-final games. And today's probably going to be a shorter video. Unfortunately, there's not too much to talk about in these games. You got a 5-0 victory for the U.S. over Finland. This was a dominant effort by the U.S. The Finns were sort of just hanging on as best they could. Unfortunately, that's what happens. You get a, a real big skill dif uh, difference. And, you know, that's your end result. 5-0 victory for the U.S., the Finns looked okay, I'd say. You know, they played their game, but the U.S., they looked really, really good today. They can play like that against Canada. I mean, we've seen how Canada has played so far at this tournament. I personally don't think that they'd have a shot if the U.S. played anything like they did today. And now let's talk about the other game from today. It was a 4 nothing victory for Canada over Czechia. This was a game, once again, highlighted by Canada dominating play. And the Czechs had their looks early, couldn't capitalize on it. And then from there on out, Canada took control of the game. Played a really solid game. Not quite to the level the U.S. played today. But at the same time, you know, whenever Canada plays the U.S., they're both going to bring their A game. So at the end of the day, it'll come down to who sets the pace. But we'll talk about that in just a little bit. Take a look now at the news from today with A for Brandley and B for Abstrider. Yes, they're flipped. Haha, <laughs> get it? Because Group A, Group B. It's funny. I know you're laughing behind the camera there. So with that being said, uh, Switzerland will remain in Group A for next year's tournament. Group B will be Germany in that, in that Group B for the next year. So they don't get the automatic qualifier into the quarterfinals. They still have to come the top three. Assuming that all that the current sort of system stays in place for next year's tournament, I'd assume it would. I don't think that they're going to change too much. But this year, we've really seen it, how the teams are a lot more even. They're not necessarily as powerhouse as they used to be. We look at a team like Sweden, who really took took it to Canada. In my opinion, they could have beat the Czechs, Finns, Swiss, any of the three of them. Unfortunately, they lost to, the, to lost Germany, got stuck in that second spot, and never got a chance to even take a crack at Group A. So curious to see if they try and change that. Lots of time for them to still do that. I'd be curious. I don't think that they will, but of course, you never really know with them. And now let's take a look at the playoff bracket, if you want, however you want to describe it. So we have, once again, we've seen sort of the quarterfinals, how we've got to this point. And lastly, the Canada-USA gold medal, the bronze medals underneath them with Czechs and Finland. Both are going to be a really good game, I think. When we've seen, you know, we saw it off the top, that first game between the Czechs and Finland. And it was, it was a great game, you know, 4 nothing victory for the Czechs. Finland looked really, really bad in that game. I think we're going to have a really, really powerhouse game. I think this will be sort of, we're going to see it. Czechs and Finns is not a guarantee. The U.S. and Canada is not a guarantee. So we're going to have some good hockey. We came into today knowing that it'd probably be a blowout. That first game was really the game of the day. We talked about that in yesterday or two days ago this video because, of course, there was no game yesterday. We got a little bit of a break. But now we'll flip it over here to what's going to be coming tomorrow. And that's two games, right? We have the bronze and the gold. So the bronze is at 1 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time between Finland and the Czechs. And this is going to be a really good game. My prediction is going to be Finland. Slow down. I know you're probably typing ang angrily in, in the comments. Don't come at me. I'm just saying Finland's looked a lot better as they progress through this tournament. They're not the same team that started this tournament in any sense. They've progressed through the tournament. They've looked better and better with each game. This is a different Finland team than what they started. The Czechs have gone progressively downward. They've gotten worse throughout this tournament. In my opinion, from the way both teams are trending, I'm taking Finland on this one. If you disagree, now you can comment in the comment section below. And now, of course, the game of the day. We got the gold medal game. Canada, USA. It never gets better than that. Going to be a physical one, I have no doubt. And, and we'll see how the refs officiate it, of course, because if it's anything like that first preliminary game where it's one nothing in overtime with the trip, Canada fans out of the way now, 
it's going to be a really, really good game. So I highly recommend you watch that one. If you're going to watch any game, 5 o'clock p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, it's going to be a good one. It always is. And I, and I also want to sort of give you something to look for. First five minutes of the game, see who sets the tone early. Whoever sets the tone likely will win this game. If Canada can really sort of slow down the U.S., I think this will be a game to watch. If it isn't, then, of course, the U.S. will probably steamroll Canada. So definitely something to watch for. And I will flip it right back over here to the final standings. Remember, this is the official standings. Remember, the top four teams here still have yet to be decided. That'll, be, that'll happen tomorrow. But we have the fifth place with Switzerland. Remember, the top five stay in Group A. The next three will be in Group B for next year, and the bottom two teams are relegated. So the Group B teams are Germany, Sweden, and Japan, and the two relegated teams are Japan, or China and Denmark. We'll take now a look at the final group and the official group standings here for next year's tournament. This is now official due to both that no one's going to be able to move in that top five as everyone's now decided. So in Group A, we have Canada, USA, Czechia, Switzerland, and Finland. And next year's Group B will consist of Germany, Sweden, Japan, and both the Division 1A gold medalist to the winner and this and the runner-up, the silver medalist in that tournament. So, of course, lots to play for. And, and I think, you know, who's going to come up? It's hard to tell right now. There's a bunch of teams that are sort of in that mix. And, and I'd be curious to see, you know, if it's going to be a returning team, is it not going to be? But lots of hockey still to be played. Tomorrow's game should be good. We have Canada, USA, and we have Finland and Czechia. Can't wait for Canada, USA. Of course, as a Canada fan, there's no better game than a good old-fashioned rivalry between Canada and the USA. So be sure to come back tomorrow. We'll have the full recaps. So we'll have a full tournament pre recap as well, sort of talking about how each team got to where they are and sort of just overall thoughts. But with that being said, if you made it this far in the video, Thank you for watching. If you'd like to drop a like, if you really like it or subscribing, tell all your friends and comment down below your thoughts on semifinal action from the Women's World Championship. Until next time, see you.